Hey everyone, and I hope you're having a great day so far. Today I have a gentle flow for you. So this is gonna be a great workout, um, either right when you get up first thing in the morning, if you just want to get moving and um, loosen up the body, or if you are just looking for a more gentle workout uh, during the day, uh, and if you are feeling either tired or maybe um, you just want to take it a little slow today. So um, all of the above, this would be great for. So uh, let's go ahead and come onto hands and knees first. So we're going to come through our cat and cow just to get started. So on hands and knees, just start to breathe <clears throat> into your cat and cow. So go ahead and take an inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. And then exhale, tuck that tailbone under, lift the belly around the spine. And again, inhale to lengthen. And exhale to round. Good, two more, inhale. Just connecting breath to movement here. Exhale, round. Finding that mobility through the spine. Last one. And exhale. All right, find that nice long spine here. I want you to keep your left knee on the mat. We're gonna go ahead and extend that right leg straight back behind you. So as you're reaching that leg back, think of turning your right hip down towards the floor, lifting that leg using the glute and not the spine. So inhale, taking that long lengthened breath here. On the exhale, we're gonna round knee to nose, bringing that knee under, good rounding the spine. Inhale, lengthen back out. Reach, exhale to round. Good, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale, round. Now this time I want you to take your right toes, place them on the mat, legs straight, and we're gonna turn into a beautiful side bend. Go ahead and reach this right arm nice and long. Good opening here. Beautiful, take a nice deep breath in here. Now we're gonna start to move this right arm. So we're gonna take the arm back behind us. We're gonna move it in a circle down towards the hips, down towards the floor, and then back up overhead. Good, so just make this feel really nice, really yummy in that shoulder. If you need to come to your forearm, if your wrist is bothering you here in this position, go ahead and do that. Do one more, down, good, open, and back to center. Now back, come back down to all fours here. We're gonna do the same thing other side, but first we're gonna find that knee to nose. So right knee stays down, left leg is gonna reach back, crown of the head reaching forward. Inhale here, exhale round. Inhale, lengthen, exhale round. Good, inhale, reach, exhale. Good, two more. Last one, lengthen and round, scooping belly in and up. Now reach that left leg to the floor, touch the toes down, turn into that side bend here on this side, top arm reaching overhead. So find that stability in your glutes here in your lower body, take one more breath. Right shoulder blade pulling down your back. Now we're gonna start to move this top arm, so inhale, circle the arm back behind you, and down towards the floor and back overhead. Good, open and stretch. Okay, down towards the floor, up, open and lift. Okay, just a couple more. Feels so nice in the shoulder. Also opening up the front of the chest here, last one. Good, go ahead and spring that left arm back down. So you're back into that all fours position. Go ahead and give me uh, just a couple of cat and cow here, just recentering yourself. One more, inhale. And exhale. All right, we're gonna get one little wrist stretch here. So I want you to go ahead and flip the wrist so the palms are facing um, up towards you and the heels of the hands are away from uh, your body. So, and I want you to spread your fingers and then just start to lean back here. You should feel your front of your wrist and the front of your um, 
uh, front of your arm, that lower part of your arm, getting a nice stretch here. Keep the hand fully grounded on the mat as you stretch back. Good, one more breath. Good, and then go ahead and sit onto your heels here. We're gonna do a nice easy twist, so I want you to go ahead and look over your right shoulder, fingertips on the floor, left hand onto the outside of that right knee as we twist and look over that right shoulder, growing tall. Good, back through center, other side. Good, twist, grow tall and lengthen. Good, back through center. Good, grow tall and lift. Good, back to center. And lift, let's do one more each side. Rotation is so good for our spine and for our body. It's something that we do every single day in our everyday lives. So let's try to do it with integrity when we're here on the mat as well. So let's go ahead and bring our hands onto the mat fully. We're gonna lift our hips into a downward dog. So I want you to go down with the heels as if you can. If you can, if you're still starting to get a little tight, that's okay, just do the best that you can. I want you to spread your fingers, ears by your arms. I want you to start to walk your dog. So bending one knee and then the other, trying to find a little bit more length through the back of the leg. And just move slow here as you start to wake up the legs, wake up the ankles, stretching the calves and the hamstrings. <sighs> Drop your shoulders away from your ears so you're not finding tension. Good, one more each side. All right. Now we're gonna move this a little bit. So I want you to keep those arms and legs straight. Go ahead and roll the spine forward into plank. Nice strong body here. Now widen the knees as you drop them to the mat. Sink the hips back to child's pose. Good, now start to lift the hips, tuck the toes under. Come back to that downward dog. Try to stay low with the upper body as you lift the hips high, drop through your heels. Come back forward into that plank position. Nice and strong. Good, drop the knees, drop the hips, bring it back. Child's pose. Good, tuck the toes under. Try to keep the upper body low as you lift those hips, lengthening through the spine and the legs. Good, back forward into plank. We're gonna do two more just like this. Drop the knees, child's pose. Good, tuck those toes under, lift the hips, lengthen. Heels drop, last one, coming forward into plank. All right, come into that child's pose. Bring it back. Good, this time I want you to hold it here. I want you to hold in the child's pose, tent your fingers, so I want you to Come up onto the fingertips and lift your arms off the mat. And really get a nice deep stretch on the side body, kind of underneath your shoulders. Then I want you to walk your hands and your upper body over to the left. Keep those fingertips tented and really walk the right hand farther away from that right hip, feeling that great stretch. Good, walk hands over to the other side and your upper body, tenting those fingers. Good, one more deep breath in here, pull that left hip back. Walk it back to center. Good, one more deep breath here. And then sit onto the heels as you stack the spine all the way up to seated. All right, so we're gonna flip on over into a seated position. So go ahead and turn yourselves around. And we're gonna face the end of our mats here. So we're gonna do our seated roll downs first. So I want you to sit up nice and tall, knees bent, and feel your sitting bones grounded, crown of the head reaching. Arms are gonna come forward here. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, you're gonna come down one bone at a time as you start to round the spine all the way down until the arms come back. Inhale here. Exhale, we're gonna peel it back up, lift, grab on behind the thighs if you need some help coming up. Inhale, arms forward, spine lifts. Exhale, let's do that again, rolling down. 
Beautiful. Inhale, arms back. And exhale, rolling up. Peeling up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale again, rolling down. This is our last one like this, and then we're going to change it up just a little bit. Inhale, arms reaching back. Exhale, peeling, lift and lengthen. All right, we're going to move this into more of a circle now. So I want you to take your upper body over to the left so you're rotated. Now we're going to roll it down, staying rotated on that side till we come all the way down onto the mat. Arms are gonna come up and overhead over to the right as we peel up in a rotated position towards the right. Lift up through center. Or back over to the left. We exhale, coming down. Keep your hips and your legs nice and centered and steady. So this upper body is doing the circles, the rotation, but that lower body is staying nice and still. One more time this direction to the left, rolling down. Good, inhale, up and over. To the right, roll it up. Good, lift, coming into center. Re reversing the direction, rotate right, roll down. Find that control as you bring it down. Inhale, arms up overhead. To the left, we roll up. Lift through center. Two more times of this circle. Roll it down. Exhale, to the left, we roll up, feeling those obliques in that rotated position. Over to the right, last one, exhale down. Staying rotated to the right, arms up and overhead. Good, coming up, and then we lift, very nice. All right, stay here in this seated position. I want you to bring your hands behind your thighs. All right, use that that um, tension, that traction, to really lift through your spine even taller. All right, so take an inhale here. On the exhale, I want you to start to scoop the belly back, extend your arms, but keep the arms behind the thighs. Good, now inhale as you reverse it, bring it back up to center. So you're just coming to just a C curve as you come back. So pull the belly back, arms straighten. Good, exhale and lift. Now you can use your arms to help you pull up as much or as little as you'd like. You might have just a light grip of your hands behind your thighs so that your core is doing more of the work. If you want to use more of your upper body and your arms to help you come up, if you're just not feeling strong enough today, then go ahead and do that. Exhale, lift and lengthen. We're going to do one more. Scoop it back, roll it back into that C curve. Good, hold it here with those arms long, belly pulling back and down. Inhale, deep breath. Stay here, exhale, deepen that core. Good, inhale again, deep breath. Exhale, hold here. Good, on your next inhale, start to bring yourself all the way up and forward into seated. Take another deep breath here at the top. On the exhale, you're gonna bring it back again to that C curve and hold it there. All right, we're gonna add a little rotation here. So take your right arm off the leg, reach it forward and then rotate upper body and right arm over to the left. Good, bring it back to center. Bring the right hand back behind the right leg, left arm lifts, reaches, and then twist, reach it across to the right side. Good, and then bring it back to center. Other side again, right arm lifts, we reach and rotate. Good, really reaching away. Good, bring it back to center. Good, left arm lifts. We reach as we twist. Good, back to center. See if you can give me one more each side. Right arm reaches. We twist, rotate. Good, back to center. One more other side. Keep scooping that belly. Good, twist, rotate. Good, back to center. And then all the way back up to seated. All right, we're gonna do our rolling like a ball next. So I want you to scoot yourself forward. Either before we get into it, find a little butterfly stretch just to release those hip flexors and maybe shake your wings here. Rock the hips a little bit side to side and then go ahead and start to bring the legs back up as you come forward towards the end of your mat. Now find your legs pulling in close to your body. Hands are on top of your shins. 
forehead towards your knees. Lift your feet off the floor, find that balance point. Elbows are kind of wide, but still at a diagonal. Inhale, you're gonna rock back, keep this tight ball shape. Exhale, lift up, balance and hold. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, lift. Try to keep your feet, your heels reaching towards your bottom so that you're not lifting your shins or your lower legs up as you rock back. Inhale, back. Exhale, use your breath to lift. Inhale, exhale, four more. Try not to touch your toes if you can at the top. Three, two, last one. Good, balance and holds. And then place those feet all the way down. All right, scoot yourself back just a little bit and then slowly roll that spine all the way down. All right, so we're gonna do our rolling bridges here. So walking those feet in close to the body, arms down by your sides. Collarbone is nice and wide. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, start to tuck that tailbone under as we peel the spine up one vertebrae at a time. Go as slow as you need to. Okay, keep those legs in par parallel, big toes pressing into the mat. On your next exhale, go ahead and roll it back down, vertebra by vertebra, until your pelvis is the last to release. Inhale here, exhale, tuck under, peel up, lift and lengthen. Good, inhale at the top, and exhale to lower all the way down, and release. Good, let's do two more. I love a good bridge getting that spine mobilized, feeling a little bit more length and extension in front, back, side, body. Just always feels so good. <laughs> really good for the lower back as well. Let's do one more. Exhale, peel up. Good, lifting at the top but without popping the ribs and then reverse it to come all the way back down. Very nice. All right. So go ahead and bring the legs into the chest for a moment. Give them a nice little hug. We are going to do hundreds here, but I'm going to have you keep your legs in tabletop. So a little bit not quite as um, intermediate as the legs extended. So go ahead and bring the legs to tabletop position. I'm going to reach the arms up towards the ceiling. We've already warmed up our core here, so we should be ready to go. On the exhale, lift up into your ab curl. Hold it there, start to pump those arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, keep that moving. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good, keep those arms pumping. Make sure the knees are right over the hips and the knees are at 90 degrees so shins are parallel with the floor. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Two more sets. Last one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Bend those knees in, lower it down, and rock those hips side to side. Very nice. All right, go ahead and place one foot down at a time. And we're gonna go ahead and bring the hands behind the head. So we're gonna do our um, our abdominal curls here with the hands behind the head. If this ends up being too difficult, you can always reach the arms up to the ceiling and then down by your sides as you lift, all right? Now, go ahead and take your deep breath in here. On the exhale, keep the feet grounded. Maybe walk the feet out just a little bit away from the body. On the exhale, you're gonna lift up into your abdominal curl, lifting just head, neck, and chest. And then inhale, we lower. Exhale, lift. And inhale, lower. Exhale. Try to keep those shoulders down. And elbows are a bit of diagonal, right? They're not reaching directly up towards the ceiling. They're not way out to the side. They're somewhere right in the middle. So your shoulders can stay relaxed. Lift and lower. Let's do three more. Two. 
Last one. Good, and lowering all the way down. All right, let your head release for a moment. El elbows can be nice and wide here as you're on the floor. We're gonna do that same thing, but now we're gonna add an oblique twist, lifting the opposite leg up that we're twisting towards. So set back up, elbows are slightly at a diagonal, shoulders down. Inhale here. On the exhale, you're gonna lift, twist left as your left leg lifts up to tabletop. Inhale, lower back down. Exhale, other side. Inhale, lower. Exhale. Think armpit towards knee instead of elbow towards knee. That'll help keep the elbows wide and ensure that you're twisting at the torso and not just by twisting at the shoulders. Good, and lower. Exhale. Good, and lower. Let's do two more each side. So still getting that abdominal work, still getting those obliques, just a little bit more gentle. Good, and lower, last one. Good, and lower, bring your head down, go ahead and release your hands down by your sides. All right, we're gonna fully extend the legs now and do our full roll-ups here. If you need to keep those knees bent, please feel free. All right, go ahead and reach your arms back behind you, take a deep breath in. Exhale, chin to chest, we peel up. We scoop the belly back as we round the upper body forward. Feels so yummy. Go ahead and roll it back down nice and slow so you can really feel that spinal articulation. Inhale, arms back, exhale. Good, again, reaching, lengthening, and then reverse it all the way down. Nice and slow. We have two more just like that, so do this on your own time. And using control and not momentum to bring yourself up and down. That's gonna require more of that core strength. Good, on your last one, I want you to keep it up and over. So keep into a seated position and you're gonna flex through your ankles for a forward fold. So just find some length through your spine first, maybe drawing your shoulders down and back, lifting your heart and chest. Maybe grab onto your shins or your, um, your calves, wherever you can, or maybe your feet. And then find that rounded forward full, letting your head release and your shoulders release. I want you to take two more breaths here. Beautiful, last one. All right, now I want you to point through your toes again. We're gonna do one roll down to come all the way down to our back. So nice and slow, bring yourself all the way back down. All right, and once you get there, go ahead and situate yourself in the center of your mat. And then we're gonna bring your legs either up to a tabletop position, or you're gonna keep your toes on the floor, knees up. Knees up. And we're just gonna do a nice lower body twist. If you keep your legs in tabletop with the toes off the floor, be more, a little more of an abdominal challenge. So go ahead and take those legs. We're gonna take an inhale as we start to drop your hips and your legs over to the left. So you're not gonna let them release on the mat. You're gonna keep them hovered. And then exhale, pull everything up to center. Inhale to the right. So your knees are trying to stay in the same line directly next to each other. Exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, legs to the left. Right hip can come off, but right shoulder stays glued down. Exhale, back to center. And inhale to the right. Beautiful stretch for that lower back as well. Exhale, use your core, bring it back up to center. Good, inhale to the left. This is your last set. Exhale, make sure knees are still directly over hips. 90 degrees, last one, inhale to the right. And exhale, bringing it all the way back into the center. All right, so now we're gonna add on to this just a little bit. So for this one, you do need to take your toes off of the floor. So we're gonna take, this one's gonna be slightly different. So we're gonna 
Keep the knees off the floor, arms are nice and grounded into the mat or into the floor. I want you to take your legs, you're gonna sweep them down and over to the left and kind of pull them up towards your left shoulder. And then they're gonna come down over to the other side, pull them up towards the right shoulder, and then back down to the left, pull them up towards the left shoulder, hold them there, and then extend the legs, then bend the knees and start over again. They're gonna circle down towards the floor, up towards the right shoulder, down towards the floor, up towards the left shoulder. Good, back down towards the right shoulder, hold them pulled in, extend the legs. This is kind of like our can-can exercise that we do up in our forearms. This is just a little bit more gentle. Still getting some nice loosening of the lower back. Good, exhale, pull them towards the left, extend, reach, and bend. So they go down, right, lift, down, left, lift. Good, down, right, hold them here, extend and lengthen. Good, let's do one more set. Good, to the left, to the right, to the left, hold and lengthen. Good, one more just like that, to the right now, down to the left, good, over to the right, and extend, good. Bring it back into center. This time bring your hands or your arms on top of your shins, pull the knees into the chest. Good, give yourself a nice hug. Let's go ahead and roll over to your side facing me this way. And we're gonna come on to a, into a forearm plank here. So we're gonna stay on the knees, gonna make this a little more gentle and then add some rotation as well once we get a little side opening. So we're gonna make sure shoulders right over that elbow and shoulders and hips are facing forward. When you're ready, you're gonna lift the hips, you're coming into that full side body plank here. Engaging glutes to press the hips forward, you're in that nice straight line. So from here, I just want you to take that top arm up overhead first and find a nice hip lift so your side, you're getting a little bit higher with your um, top side body. We're getting a beautiful rainbow side body stretch here. Good, one more breath here. And then find just a nice straight line instead of an arch position. Take an inhale, take that top arm up towards the ceiling, open it back behind you, get this beautiful stretch. Then you're gonna exhale, Bring that arm under as you twist the upper body forward. Let me inhale, open that arm up and back. Good, exhale, twist, just upper body arm comes under the other one. Good, inhale, open, hips and lower body nice and stable as we rotate. Good, two more, inhale, open, and exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Good, inhale the arm back up to the ceiling, lower the hips all the way down. I want you to lower your body down so that you are laying down on your bottom arm. And you're gonna reach your legs nice and long. We're gonna do a lower body banana, which is just getting the obliques working on this side. So we're gonna keep the, lower, the upper body where it is. We're gonna really lengthen those legs out and then lift the legs up you should feel your obliques working to lift those legs and then you lower the legs down. And again, we lift and lengthen, reach and lower. Good, lift, reach, beautiful, and lower. Keeping those legs glued together the whole time, lift and reach and lower. You just have two more. Last one, belly pulling in and up, reach, reach, hold and then lower it all the way down. All right, I want you to bend the knees, press yourself up, but keep your knees and feet off to the side. We're just gonna get a little side stretch here, bringing that arm up and over, and then one stretch on the other side. You can take your forearm down and top arm overhead. Good, lifting yourself all the way up. We're gonna swing those legs over to the other side and do the same thing. So we're gonna do that forearm plank here. So shoulder right over the elbow. Make sure the shoulder blade is pulling down the back and you're really pressing yourself away from the floor to stabilize. All right, let me lift the hips up so you're in that plank position. Let me go ahead and take that top arm up overhead for that rainbow side stretch, lifting the hips. Good, 
Good, and now come into a regular side plank, arm comes up towards the ceiling. Inhale, we open that arm back behind you, look up towards the ceiling, exhale, round upper body, arm comes under. Good, inhale, we open it up, and exhale, we round. Good, inhale, open. Exhale, round. Hips and lower body are steady, last two. Good, glutes are engaged, pressing those hips forward. Last one. Good, arm comes back up to the ceiling. We lower the hips all the way down. All right, keep the legs to that side. Come on up, let's find a side stretch. Up and over. Good, lift up through center. Take that other arm down, maybe the elbow drops to the floor and we reach. Beautiful. Go ahead and bring it all the way back up. All right, so we are gonna do a, um, uh, we're gonna come into all fours next. We're gonna do a little long-legged lift and lower. So I want you to go ahead and come onto hands and knees. All right, so on your hands and knees, really press yourself away from the floor with that upper body. We're gonna have shoulders right over those wrists, knees right underneath the hips. And we're gonna keep the arms straight. We're gonna start with some sternum push-ups first, just to find a little movement in the upper body, some strength here, and then we're gonna find some stability. So we're gonna to start to slide the chest down through the arms, keeping the arms straight, and then press your chest away, lifting, maybe rounding just into the upper back a little bit. Then we let the shoulder blades draw together as we drop the chest down, and then we press it away as we bring it up. Good. Three more. Last two. And last one. Good, press it away. Good, this time we're stabilizing with that upper body. So not letting your shoulders sink, not rounding too much, but you're right in the middle here. All right, we're gonna take this left leg, we're gonna reach it long away from the upper body. Now left hip bone stays facing towards the floor and you're using your glute to, to lift this leg. So we're gonna do a lower and lift of this leg. So just nice long leg, lower and lift here. So the toes will tap to the floor and then lift. Lower and lift. Spine's not moving, spine's staying nice and still. That's it. Good, let's do eight more. Seven. Good, six. Five. Four. Three, beautiful, last two, and one. Keep that leg lifted at hip height, so glute engage. Really press your upper body up and away. Start to point and flex through that ankle. So just getting a little bit more mobility. Good, flex and point, keeping that leg lifted at least to, to hip height. So you're still working that back leg and that glute. Good, two more, two, and one. Good, now flex through the ankle, drop the toes to the floor and push back through your heel. So you're just getting a nice stretch here through your calf. Good, one more breath. And then go ahead and bring it back under the body. Let's go ahead and switch it to the other side. Let's go ahead and reach that right leg back. Again, hip facing the floor the whole time. We start to lower and lift that leg using that glute. Good, lower and lift. Good. Let's do eight more. Eight, seven, six, nice, five, four, three. Neck is nice and long, two. Good, on your next one, lift. Keep it lifted, point and flex that ankle. Finding that mobility, good. Good, just a couple more. Good, I want you to flex the ankle, hold it, flex, drop the toes down, and then flex through that heel. Beautiful calf stretch here. Good, one more breath. 
Beautiful, bring that knee under your body. We're gonna go ahead and turn to face this way and then bring yourself all the way down to the floor for some side lying legs. So what I want you to do here is we're gonna bring your head all the way down and your bottom arm is just nice and rested on the floor. So we let the upper body just completely relax here. And I want you to reach your legs nice and long away from your upper body and bring your legs forward at a diagonal. Maybe we wanna bend that bottom knee just for a little bit more stability. I'm gonna do that for this one and stack your hips and your shoulders, core is still pulling in and up. Let's just start first by lifting and lowering this top leg. So getting some nice glute engagement here, which we just got on our hands and knees. This is a, so this is a little bit different now that we're lifting up instead of back. Good, lift and lower. And lower, good. Toes and knees stay pointing forward the whole time. Let's do five, four, you got it, three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and bring that leg down. I do want you to extend the bottom leg for this one. Now you're gonna turn this top leg out in the hip socket. So toes and knees are pointing up towards the ceiling, but without turning your hips back. Okay, so that's the challenge. All right, now we're gonna do a passe. What that means is we're bending this top knee up towards the ceiling as we drag the foot up the inner part of that bottom leg, extend the leg up. Let me reach it away as we lower down. Good, bend it in. Reach, extend, and lower. All staying in that turned out position, so external rotation with the legs here. Good, bend in, reach, extend, and lower. You have one more just like this. Bend, extend, and lower. Now we're gonna reverse that motion. We lift an external rotation, bend the knee in, and then reach that leg away. Good, and lengthen. Lift, bend, and reach. Good, lift, bend, reach, extend. Just two more, lift, bend, and extend. Last one, and reach. All right, I'm gonna bend this bottom knee again. Good, bring that leg to parallel. We're gonna do some large circles here. So the leg's gonna kick forward. Good, externally rotate as we circle it up, slightly back behind us, lower it back down, back to parallel. Good, forward, lift and open, rotate. Good, forward, circle it open, rotate. Good, one more time this direction. Good, and bring it down. Good, we're gonna reverse that. So we actually rotate as we lift up, bring it forward back to parallel and reach it back. Good, beautiful job. Loosening up those hips while still working those glutes. Good, two more in this direction. Last one. Good, and bring it back. All right, send your bottom leg now. I don't know if you guys just saw that, but Thing just dripped from my air conditioning <laughs> right onto my face. All right, so we're gonna take this top leg and we're gonna bend the knee and bring it forward. You're not like fully um, relaxing forward. You still wanna keep that upper body nice and active. Now take this bottom leg here and you're just gonna reach it long and start to lift and lower. So now we're getting that inner thigh of that bottom leg where that top leg is just resting. Good, lift. Using that inner thigh, good, reaching that leg away. Let's do six, five, you got it, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, go ahead and bend both your knees. Bring your hand underneath you. Press yourself all the way up. Then we're gonna go ahead and swing the legs to the other side. And let's do the same thing on this side. Okay. So starting with that bottom leg bent for a little bit more stability, upper body is fully down onto the floor, but still engaged, right, and stable. All right, extend this top leg. Let's start to lift and lower. Good, lift and lower. So still feeling that glute here. Lower, lift, you got it. Gaze is forward, so make sure you're not looking down towards that leg but straight ahead. Let's do three more. Three, two, 
and one. Good, bring it down. All right, extend that bottom leg. Turn the leg, top leg out in the hip socket. We're gonna do that passe. So drag the foot up the leg, extend it towards the ceiling. Good, lower it down. So we're always in this external rotation for this exercise. Hips are starting to stay stacked as though, so make sure you're not tipping them backwards as you're moving. Good, lift, extend, and lower. Let's do one more time this direction. And lower, good, let's reverse it. So lift it up, bend it in, reach it away. Good, lift, bend, and reach. You got it. Lift, bend, and reach. Two more, and then we'll move into those circles. Last one, lift, bend, and extend. All right, bending that bottom leg again for a little bit more stability. Top leg back to parallel. We're gonna kick that leg forward, then externally rotate in the hip socket as we bring it back and up and lower it down. Good, sweep it open and lower. Good, three more times this direction. Nice, two. Last one, good, and lower. Now reverse it, externally rotate as you lift it up, bring it forward back to parallel and sweep it back. Now maybe your circles aren't that big and that's okay as long as your hips are staying stable and your leg is mobilized in your hip socket as opposed to your pelvis and your hips just rocking around in a circle. Good, two more, two. Last one. Good, and bring it back. All right, top, our bottom leg is gonna extend. Top leg is just gonna rest forward, but hips and shoulders are still squared towards the front. Now lift and lower that bottom leg. Nice inner thigh work, lifting that leg towards the ceiling. Good, lift and lower. Beautiful, lift, lower. Let's do six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and take that top hand, bring it down, bend both knees, and press yourself fully up to a seated position. We're gonna flip over right onto our belly now, so go ahead and bring it on over. Those legs stay reaching, extended back. We're gonna work on our extension here, our swan, opening up the, the chest and the shoulders a little bit more. So. I want you to bring your forehead to the mat and I want you to take your fingers, you're gonna tense your fingers to the outsides of your mat, still though in line with your shoulders, so right out to the sides of your shoulders. Rolling the shoulders up and back and elbows are still lifted, pretty much up towards the ceiling or towards the ceiling there. Now pull the belly in, engage the glutes, legs are reaching away. You're gonna start to roll the shoulders back and down even more as you start to lift the upper body up. So you're gonna wave the upper body up into a, just an easy gentle swan and then exhale, roll it back down. So we're kind of waving up and down here. So wave the spine up, lift shoulders back and down. Exhale, we lower, lower and release. Get a few more just like that. Make sure that core is pulling in the entire time so you're not arching that lower back or causing any pain or discomfort there. Couple more. Good, exhale to lower. Last one, lifting up. Now hold it here in this lifted position. We're gonna start to twist. You're gonna drop right shoulder towards the floor as you twist to the left and then lift back up. Drop left shoulder down as you twist to the right and lift. Good, right shoulder and lift and left. Good, back to center. Let's do a couple more each side. That's it. Good, one more set. Good, last set, our last one. And lift it all the way up and then lower all the way back down. All right, this time I want you to release your arms um, by your sides, meaning I want your, your hands right underneath your shoulders. Your elbows are gonna be right by your sides, right by your ribs. 
Now we are going to lift upper and lower body and the hands off the floor together. And then we're going to move the arms a little. So I'll walk you through this. So pull the belly in, engage your glutes, lift up upper lower body hands will float off the mat. Hold here. We're going to extend the arms forward into Superman, circle the arms up, open and back behind you, reaching. And then we're going to bend the elbows. And then we lower back down, we're back in that starting position. We do that again. Pull the belly in, lift everything up. Reach the arms forward, extend. Circle the arms up, open, and back. Maybe you lift a little higher with the upper body. Bend the elbows, hands by the shoulders. We lower it down. Good, do that again. Lift, extend the arms. Circle them up, back. Good, bend the elbows and lower. Good, two more just like that. Lift, extend. Good, circle up and back, bend the elbows and lower. Last one, lift, reach long. Good, circle them up and back. Bend those elbows, lift a little higher. And then we lower all the way back down. All right, go ahead and make a pillow for your head with your hands, bend your knees. Windshield wiper those legs here, side to side. We're gonna do a little shoulder stretch here next. So I want you to keep your right leg on the floor, lengthening long, right arm is gonna reach out to the side. You're gonna turn the right side of your face down and then we're gonna bend the left knee, twist so that your left toes come to touch the mat behind the right leg and you should feel this yummy stretch here in front of that right shoulder. So your head stays on the mat your left hand is right in front of your chest. Good, let's go ahead and release that. We'll do the other side. So left leg straight, left arm out to the side, bend your right knee, twist, bring it back. And your gaze might be up towards the ceiling or looking slightly up here. Should feel really good on the front of that left shoulder. One more breath. Good, and then go ahead and bring it back to center. This time you're gonna press yourself up and back into a child's pose. So finding that opposite stretch and opening. So feel that lower back round. Let your upper body release. Good, take another breath here, breathing into your lumbar spine, your lower back. And exhale, let it go. All right, bring yourself back up and forward into all fours. So we're gonna go from um, just a plank to a downward dog and then back into plank. So similar to how we started at the beginning, we're just finishing things up here. So I want you to come into your plank position on your toes if you can, nice long spine here. Take your inhale, go ahead and start to lift your hips as you drop your heels into downward dog. Good, now wave your spine back forward into plank. Good, do that again. Lift the hips, drop the heels. Beautiful, stretching side body, backs of the legs. Good, wave it back forward into plank. <clears throat> Let's do two more just like that. Drop the heels, downward dog. Good, and back forward. Good, you have one more, drop the heels. So I want you to stay in this downward dog position and start to walk your hands back towards your feet so you're in a forward fold. And you're gonna stay in this forward fold, letting your head release, letting your neck release here. And <clears throat> maybe start to move the legs a little bit, bending one knee and then the other. Just getting a little bit of a deeper stretch. Good. Now go ahead and straighten both legs. You're gonna walk it back out. This time, you just come into all fours, dropping onto the knees. All right, let's go ahead and swing your legs around. We're gonna finish, um, our last exercise is gonna be seal before we finish with just a couple stretches. So come to the front edge of your mat. And I want you to go ahead and 
find, this is a rolling exercise. You're gonna find that balance point. You're gonna have your feet together, knees are wide. You're gonna dive your hands down between the legs and then wrap around to hold on to the ankles. All right, if that's too hard, you can just grab onto the outside of the legs just like this. Otherwise, you're gonna lift those hips up, find that, that rounded shape with your back. All right, so we're gonna keep the legs like this as we start to rock forward and back. Try to find that balance point at the top. Keep your chin tucked the entire time. So don't let your head hit the floor when you come back. Good, back and lift. Now hold here at the top. This is why it's called seal. We're gonna use the inner thighs to clap the feet three times. Three, two, one. Come back, clap the feet three times. Three, two, one. Lift, clap, three, two, one. Very nice. Back, three, two, one. Lift and hold, three, two, one. Good, three, two, one. Lift, three, two, one. Two more sets here. Good, using inner thighs. Last one, three, two, one. Lift, three, two, one. Hold the balance point here, and then lower the feet all the way down. All right, go ahead and turn and face the front. I want you to find some butterfly legs here. So just finding a little bit more hip opening. Maybe try to go tall through your spine first and then shake those legs a little bit, release any tension and then go ahead and bring it forward and then let your head release. Maybe the forearms come to the floor, nice. External hip opening stretch. Good, one more breath. Go ahead and start to stack your spine all the way back up. And then we're gonna do a figure four stretch, a seated one. So we're gonna turn to face the side. Let's cross your left ankle over your right knee and then scoot your hips forward towards your foot if you need a little bit of a deeper stretch. Your hands are back behind you, but the chest is still lifted and you're trying to open that left knee away from your upper body. If this is too much, just come to your back and do your regular figure four stretch just like that. Just wanna get a little bit more opening in these hips, especially just as if you're starting your day. <clears throat> really any time during the day is a good time to release the hips. We tend to be a little bit tight there. All right, go ahead and release that leg. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. I'm gonna back myself up a little bit. Good, right ankle over left knee. Then scoot forward if you need to, getting that deeper stretch. Right knee opening. Good. Good, one more breath. All right, go ahead and release that leg. Roll yourself all the way back down. Bring your knees into your chest. Just do some really nice, easy circles with the legs, with the knees. Keeping those knees bent, circling the legs in one direction first. And then go ahead and reverse it other way. That's it. A couple more. All right, now go ahead and place your feet on the floor. You're gonna widen your feet a little bit wider than shoulder distance. I'm sorry, a little, a little and just about as wide as your mat. Arms up to the sides and let both knees drop to the left and just go ahead and hold that position there. Maybe if you want an extra stretch, bring your left foot on top of your right knee. That'll just pull that leg down a little farther. Good, go ahead and bring it back to center. Over to the other side. Right foot on top of that left knee now, if you want a little bit of that extra. Good, bring it back up to center. Now pull the knees back into the chest. And then either roll to the side or rock yourself up to a seated position. And then go ahead and turn to face forward, coming into a comfortable seat, whether it's on your knees or <clears throat> cross-legged like me. 
Sitting up nice and tall, roll the shoulders forward, up and back. We're just gonna get just some easy neck stretches to finish. So the next time you bring your arms and shoulders down, just keep them there, let the crown of the head reach towards the ceiling. Drop left ear to left shoulder. Okay, now drop chin a little bit closer towards the chest, still rotated towards that left side. Good, go ahead and bring the head back to the side and then back up to center and then over to the other side. So right ear towards right shoulder. Good, dropping the chin a little bit closer towards the chest. Spine stays long. Good, lifting the head back up and then back to center. All right, you guys are finished. Wonderful job. Hope you enjoyed that nice gentle flow today. Um, sometimes it just feels good just to move the body and not do anything super strenuous, but just to get the body mobile. So I know I feel pretty amazing after that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did and hopefully it leads you on to um, a great rest of your day. So please enjoy it and I look forward to seeing you back here again soon. Take care.